testing. I believe we are live. Please give me a moment. I'll make sure everything is working fine and we shall get started. Okay. All is looking good. So let's get the uh, show on the road. Hello, my name is Uzair and welcome to today's YouTube live stream. It is the 1st of October um, 2020, the last quarter of the year. Before we know it, Christmas and New Year is going to be here. And uh, today I'm going to go through uh, keyword research uh, and how you set up your keywords, um, plan your ad groups in Google Ads, and how you can research and target those um, keywords. Now, the next quarter, is the most important quarter of the year. Every business um, is either, uh, they make a huge profit or, or a loss, depending on how good or bad this quarter goes. Now, what you want to be doing is to make sure that your campaigns are competitive. You're targeting the right keywords. Your bidding strategy is as it should be. Uh, i.e. you're winning all the auctions and your cost per acquisition or the return on ad spend is um, what you are aiming for and you're on target and once you have all these um, metrics in place then there is no reason why Google Ads will not give you a healthy return on uh, ad spend now I've had quite a few emails messages in the last few weeks and everybody seems to be panicking a bit as to how the next few months are going to pan out with all this uh, covid situation nobody knows how it's going to go but one thing's for sure that everybody will be going online it is going to get even more expensive especially the next couple of months or so all the advertisers all the businesses will be on google facebook you will find your uh, cost per clicks have gone uh, high and gone a bit more expensive but what you want to also make sure is that you are profitable so as long as your conversions and conversion rates uh, go up as well then it's all relative i know we want to pay the least amount to google to get the most back sometimes it doesn't quite work um, like that so what we want to be doing is um, making sure that the keywords which we are targeting are the bullseye keywords and that's what we're going to uh, go through today so hi Emily hello uh, thanks for being here and we'll hop into our Google Ads account. So I'm going to research for the niche or the word photography. Now, as you can see, I had done some before, but I'm going to redo this again. Okay, so we've got 724 odd keywords here, which you can go through. But what we can also do is to make sure that we have got the ad groups in the right way. And first thing I look over here is on the refined keywords section over here. It gives me really good ideas as to how to structure my ad groups because let's say you were selling photography books or you had a art gallery about photography and you are selling portraits or paintings etc so you need to uh, organize these ad groups with these relevant campaigns right so portraits would be a different campaign uh, uh, it could be a different campaign but certainly a different ad group landscapes black and white um, 
abstract photography, lots of different genres of photography. And this is what I will find over here as to what people are searching for and what Google has in here about photography. So we've got um, the non-brand, we've got retailers, nothing much there. Contractors, okay, graduation moment, photo pro angel. These look like companies or brands. And then we have got other um, brands, which they call it National Geographic, popular photography. So these are either magazines or like Ansel Adams is a very famous black and white photographer. DE Photography, I believe it's a magazine. So you get lots of ideas as to how you can sort out your uh, ad groups. But then here's where it gets really interesting. So we've got all the different uh, kinds of services where we've got portraits, weddings, newborn, family, baby. Each one of these is a different genre, it's a different speciality of photography. And what you want to do is to have them in a separate ad group like it has uh, come up over here and then have the relevant ads uh, for those keywords and ad groups. Then we have photographers as well. So you've got photography here, but photographers there. Uh, portraits, weddings, events, fashion. Okay, let's go in there. Genre is pretty much the same. Person hasn't got anything and other, there's not much in here. Okay, so I've got a good idea as to what I want to be doing and what I should do to break this, um, uh, break these services into, into its own ad group, or you can have them into its own port, uh, into its own campaign. Because if wedding photography is eating up all the budget, the others aren't getting a look in, then I would take it away from that uh, campaign and make a separate campaign with its own budget. So what you can do is you can either go through this list over here on the left hand side, sort them out by the average monthly searches. So you can see which are the most popular or searched for uh, keywords. I would absolutely stay away from uh, one word keywords like photography it's too broad right you know if you bid for photography it could be anybody can find and see your ad if they are searching for portraits weddings landscape wildlife or any other kind of photography so two or more words is good so you can see that there's a healthy number of average monthly searches we can also see over here um, a range of pricing. So the low range and the top uh, top of the page uh, bid. So the top page means in the top four. And uh, um, on the lower end, it could be anywhere on the page. It could go come up on the bottom of the page as well. So what you don't want to do is to pay the most. So if I've got 21 as the minimum and 76p as the maximum, I would bid somewhere in between as a starting point and then see how my impressions are coming up and what's happening. So what I want to do is to uh, make sure that we have a um, decent amount of bids for each one of these uh, keywords. So like this one, at least the minimum is 58 and the maximum is 423 so i would put in somewhere along the lines of two pounds 75 or something like that all right so what i do is i download the all the keywords and then i go to my spreadsheet over here i put them in here copy and paste them mm, how many have i got about six, seven hundred, I think, yeah. Six hundred and ten odd keywords. And then what the magic this sheet, Google Sheets does is, I want to 
let's say go after landscape photography what this will do is it's going to search this column a and any word or phrase which has got these two uh, words in it is going to start to populate over here um, wildlife photography we knew that we, there was wedding photography um, street photography I could have black and white I could have product photography now you can see how my ad groups are being organized all of these words have got wedding photography in any order it really doesn't matter as long as those two words are on that phrase in here there's only one so it's not a huge amount so what i might do is i might try and see if i get a bit more a uh, few more keywords okay so we've got all these um, keywords are populating in here now you can see I took photography out because we've got landscape but instead of photography we had photos so now I can have an ad group for for landscape photos or photographers wildlife again I've got some more here and I'll just keep on going through aerial family so these are all very good keywords aerial um fine art i'm going to give you a link to download this spreadsheet uh, for free all you can do is just sign up let me take out that url before i forget and you'll be able to do exactly the same what I'm doing here okay. so fine art photography hasn't got much but this one has got quite a lot beach fam um, uh, family photography let's say newborn that's a niche now you might find overlapping words because newborn i saw over here newborn family photos newborn family photos then you can decide in which ad group you wish to keep it i would keep it in this one and take take it out from this one because this one is all about um family photography what i also tend to do is freeze the top two rows so when i'm scrolling up my headers are locked now and i can see what we've got photojournalism glamour family we've done commercial that's a good word what this will help you with is to sort out your ad groups and then you can copy these keywords in one go and put them in your uh, campaign actor headshots okay that's a very good one now you can see how many different 
niches there are just in photography. That's why you never want to go after one word keywords. They are going to eat up your budget in no time. Pet photography. Aerial for drones and stuff like that. Pet. Aerial. I'm going to put in, oops. Aerial. Drone. Now, we were testing a few um uh, not few uh we were testing some new software earlier on and i think the chat is been switched over to a slow mode so that's why your comments may take a bit of time to pop up so please if you have got any questions then start putting them in and i'll come to those uh, once we finish uh, this uh, exercise okay so drone we've got nothing so that's fine it's surprising because drone photography is very popular these days everybody wants to shoot with a drone and as you can see over here i'm still getting a huge not huge but a fair amount of searches and i'm going to dig deeper into them editorial sunset local okay editorial local let's see what we get with sunset if you had books or paintings for all of these different types of uh, photographic uh, subjects or topics you can really sort these out and then advertise in google when somebody's searching for <coughs> excuse me wedding photography books or landscape photography books you can have exactly the right ad for that because each one of them will have its own ad group with its own ads that is the key because you don't what you don't want to do is show someone an ad for a wedding photography when they are searching for street photography it's completely irrelevant to each other although they're all photography they're completely different types so it's like sports you know okay um you sell football equipment or kit but then somebody searching for hockey or cricket or basketball and you're showing your football stuff they're not interested although it's the same thing it's the sport completely different and irrelevant so um so this is why we keep them up as separate ad groups okay da, 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 da. night travel vintage oh god loads some of them may not have night vintage so when i'm um uh, setting up my ad groups like this i just keep going and going and then i'll come back to all of them and then we'll i'll see okay whether this one is worth setting up its own ad group or not okay ah slow mode is off i think emily you may have done that thank you for that so this is how we set up and sort out our ad groups and when we do set right our ads they will get super high relevancy to your keywords because in this ad group the ads will be all about landscape photos and your keywords will be all about landscapes this one will be all about wildlife wedding street black and white and so on so that's why it is critical and extremely important that you sort this out if you do this right you are going to save a ton of money because the right people are going to see um, the right time okay so i'm going to go to the comment box now 
and see if you've got any questions and comments. Um, so now's your chance to put them in. Uh, yeah, Sandeep, you missed the best bit earlier on. We did the live show. Uh, extra special uh, live stream today. Uh, you missed out. If you snooze, you lose. You know that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We were testing some equipment. We were trying to stream to Facebook, Twitter. Where else? We can't do LinkedIn at the moment. And I think a couple of other places, but it was it wasn't working very well so we'll try again and hopefully uh, you'll be able to catch us pretty much anywhere uh, wherever you are on the internet okay so if i select 100 plus keywords okay and i will run my ad for two to three months after getting data after analyzing is any need for keyword research because search term report will give yeah search term report is going to keep giving you all the new search queries Every day, there are about 15 to 20% new search terms uh, being searched on Google, which have never been searched before. If you are, and the way, as I've said before, we use uh, BMM and exact ad groups. So the BMM will keep on fishing and searching for new search terms, whereas the exact one is going to match the exact uh, search term if somebody has put an exact match uh, query. Uh, so this is why we have the best of both worlds so you don't need to do keyword research as uh, such because if it's not showing coming up in search term report it's not going it's not being searched it may be searched but on low volume but now google has stopped showing those low volume search queries so we can't see it so it's no point going after those well we can't um So do we add keywords or remove keyword list for every three months? I'm not really. Why would you remove keywords every three months or so if they are performing? If they are working, let it run and run and run. If they are not working, kill them off. Hi Adam. It's difficult to add new search term keywords to your keyword list since Google doesn't show all of them anymore. That's right. Yeah. So whatever you see in the search term query, um, you can, because it will be a case of 80, 20. And once you have got enough data after three, four months, you should certainly have enough data in your campaigns to go smart bidding. And then everything is taken off our hands. Everything is taken care of. The heavy lifting is done by Google. They are going to bid on search terms which they feel are going to convert and give you the results you want. So you don't need to worry about it. Your the heavy lifting needs to be done in the first two to three months. Right? Work really hard. I'm not saying by what I mean by working hard is not sitting in front of your computer in your ads account all day long. Not not at all. 30 40 minutes if it's a fairly small account that is it's more than enough not even that keep an eye on them and just keep adding negative keywords add some new ones if you see one uh, see them keep optimizing the bids and once you've got enough conversions then you go smart and then you leave it to the google gods to get you those conversions and they do bring the conversions that's for sure at the right price as well hello mohammed nikhil nikhil i saw the live stream on instagram really okay i wasn't sure we were going live on instagram okay i don't know how that happened but if you saw us then good instagram seems to be working as well emily <laughs> or you might have uh, connected I, i'm not sure whether you did or not mm, hi mustafa I set up a call only ad four days ago. My initial bid was one pound, then raised to three, then to five, then to seven. 
still haven't got any single impressions because it really depends on your niche if you are if you are in the plumbing or for emergency plumbers or locksmiths you will need to bid 30 40 50 pounds then you'll probably get some impressions and clicks for a pound a call you won't get anything so keep bidding up my friend unfortunately so your bids are too low you won't get much especially for call ads another way you can do is set up your google my business to your uh, google ads account and run through smart campaigns quite often it works really well at very low cpc Decklip. How to add images on search ads? You can't. As simple as that. Only on shopping ads you can. You will have your image of your product, or display ads, or dis, um, the other uh, responsive display ads. But on search ads, it's only text. You saw from Virgin Mobile. Yeah, it's probably some other kind of uh, ad you've probably seen. Bounce ads I've not heard. I don't know what that is, Nickel. So uh, I really am not sure what you mean by that. When, um, in my location, there were many keywords which are having search volume of 10 to 20. The minimum bid I'm making for my client is rupees 100, even also for my address. So I'm not, I really don't understand what you're trying to say, uh, Vanam. So you got a volume of 10 to 20, very low volume keywords. Okay, that's fine. You're bidding 100 rupees. Okay. Even for my address, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Yeah, I really don't understand. My niche is flight. Okay. What do you mean travel, flights? airlines uh, you won't get anything for for such low bids my friend please create fb community okay so who's going to man you can come and be the admin of it sandeep because i've got enough on my plate at the moment to have another community of fans over on facebook uh, we were looking at it to be honest with you um hopefully very soon but thank you for that. One am I honestly, I'm not sure what uh, what you are referring to or what your question is. So if you can perhaps um, come back again tomorrow, I'll try my best to answer uh, answer it for you. Okay, that's it for today. Good. Half past four. I've got another call to hop onto. So thank you so much for being here. I won't be here tomorrow. It will be my lovely wife and she will be talking something about well marketing or online advertising i'm not too sure what it is but it will be a very interesting topic so i shall see you guys on monday so have a great weekend stay safe and yeah have a great weekend thanks for being here and if you haven't subscribed subscribe now and give it a little like and a share as well so I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye for now.